Hey everybody, thanks for watching. All right, this is gonna be a different kind of course vlog today. Today I'm gonna to be playing the Olympic Club in San Francisco, extremely famous course, virtually though. I'm gonna be playing virtual golf. So it should be pretty fun, I think. It's gonna kind of be like one of those video game let's play videos, only it's gonna be actually playing golf. I think this could be definitely a big thing. So the Olympic Club is a very historic place. Never got to play there, but I've always, it's always been one of my favorite courses. So I've always wanted to play there. It's where I think Jack Fleck beat Ben Hogan in the US Open. Jack Fleck being a uh, uh, driving range pro that then uh, beat the best player in the world at the time. And then also it's where uh, Webb Simpson won the US Open. The, the way that I saw the course for the first time though was on the Shell's Wonderful World of Golf replays when they did at one uh, Johnny Miller versus Jack Nicklaus. Jack Nicklaus was probably in his middle, early 60s at the time and he was, he was playing great. He really beat Johnny Miller badly. And uh, it's a great episode. If you hear the, the impacts he has, it's awesome. I've been working out here quite a bit at Precision Golf Centers. And it's shown me some stuff about my driver that I wouldn't have seen otherwise. So I'm gonna be working on some of that stuff today. I've been hitting up on it a little too much and also I've been hitting in the heel too much. So let's just simplify that. Okay, this first hole is 500 yards. It is uphill a little bit, 10 yards elevated. And basically I have to aim right there with a slight fade. If it goes straight, that's okay as long as I do start it on that line but no further right of that, and then fade it just a little bit, which I am more of a draw player, but this should be fine here. So there, and let's get our round started. Fade. Fade more. Oh, that was great. Okay, not extremely long, but I mean, hell, that'd be great. I've been having a real hard time shaping my shots left to right, so that was, that felt good. This hole is actually 515 yards. So yeah, so that was only, I've been usually hitting it like five on the up, so that was only 0.2 on the up and 12.2 loft. So that was, those are the numbers I'm looking for exactly, except for uh, I would like to hit it a little bit more in the center of the face. That was towed just a bit. But I usually heal it, so. All right, let's go to our second shot here. 211 yards on this par four. I'm gonna take this four iron. I'm between a four and a five iron, actually. I'm gonna take a five iron actually, because I don't wanna be long of this and I feel like I can, tr I practice with my five iron a little bit more. So the, the crucial thing with this is, and it might be the crucial thing in golf in general, not just virtual golf, is picking out a spot on the screen to hit. Okay, so there, there, and if it's a little short, that's okay. I don't need to kill it. Okay, a little thin. Did I hit it hard enough? Okay, so this game is set. That's awesome. That, that'll work out really nicely. This, this uh, system, this is the Foresight GC Quad. This system is, does an auto putt. So there I got 2.02 putts. So what that means is if I hit it to like, it, there's no putting. You could do putting if you want to, but I have it set to auto putt. So on that hole, I got a, a four, 0.02 on that hole. So if I had hit it to like a foot, I would have gotten a three point, what would I have gotten? Yeah, I would have gotten a three if I had hit it to a foot. If I had hit it to 10 feet, I probably would have gotten like a, a 3.6 or something like that. So it gives you the strokes gained average from whatever distance you hit it to. Our second hole, but, but part, that first hole is like, I've played this virtually a couple times. That first hole is really tough. So to hit the green in regulation there, it's very, very good. And also when you're doing the auto putt thing, it really shows you that how important it is to hit the green. And especially if you want to play well in this game, it's like, you'll be gaining strokes much better. You're hitting the green. Okay, so now the same thing. I want to hit a fade. I'm going to pick out a spot there. This is 381 yards, so I want to hit it. They, they have an aiming stick there, which you could move around, but it's perfect right there. So if I do that with a fade. Yeah, just like that. Okay. 
Cut. 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 Oh, that's going to be fine. All right, that was good. The pro here, Jeremy Okawa, gave me a good tip for my driver that's been working out pretty well, just to relax the hands a little bit. Yeah, so that was one degree on the up and 13.6 degrees aloft. That's really good. All right, so I'm slightly in the rough. It's not going to give you any penalty for being in any kind of lie. It's just going to make the ball go the way you hit it. So um, 92 yards up this hill. And yeah, it's actually 18 yards, 18 feet above me here. So I need to really pick out a good spot. There is a bunker short right there. So I really want to be just a little bit short and left of this hole. So like around there, the way this is aiming me, it's going to want the architect wants you to go here, but I want to be right there putting with an uphill putt at it. <laughs> really in this game with the strokes gained, you just want to hit it as close as possible. 92 yards so that's going to feel I'm just that's going to be for me because I do the clock system kind of thing to just above my shoulder just above my armpit go left come back that wasn't that great of a wedge shot I hit it too hard I hit that 9 98 instead of 92 but you could see I gained some strokes there actually that was so that for putting gave me a 1.86. And uh, so that actually lowered my score. So you can see now, this is my score right here. It's a par. Minus 0 0.1. So that's the way it goes. 200, 220 yards down the hill. So let's say I just hit that five iron. You're not going to hit five iron again because I just hit that five iron 211 down a little bit of a hill. All right, yeah, so I'm going to hit the same club I hit 211 on the last, uh, last time I used it, but this one is 222, but it's, it is way downhill. And you can see th they really want you to hit a straight shot here. If you're short, that's all right, but you don't want to be left or right. So I'm going to pick out a little spot on the screen and try to hit this, just flush it. Nothing fancy. I don't have to kill it. Just relax my hands and flush this. Oh, I blocked it, man, that was terrible. Oh, man, that was fancy. That was fancy, that was bad. All right, crucial thing that it shows you is the same thing, the thing you got, you gotta be able to hit it close. Where I'm right on the floor. There's the flag there, 45 yards away. Yeah. I don't think there's anything above me. The thing that J uh, Jeremy, who uh, is one of the co-owners here, told me is that this game, um, it only matters if you hit branches or trunks. Leaves don't will not stop you. And that was that was a bad shot. Those are the kind of shots I got to get rid of, though, right? All right, 45 yards. The hardest thing on this game, without a doubt, is chipping and pitching and knowing how, how far to hit and everything. So 45 yards. I'm going to kind of loft this, land it there. Oh, did I hit it too far? Go! Oh, that's very good. That's very good. I like that. All right, so 1.5 on the auto putt. So that, it's like I got half a stroke over par because... You know, sometimes you're going to make that, sometimes you're going to miss that. I'm, a, I'm 0.4 of a stroke over par right now. 20 feet downhill. And I want to go, I like where I'm aimed, just a little bit of a draw, but only a tiny draw. First time I played this course, I, I was, the first couple of shots are fades, and then this, this shot's a draw, so... I was happy to have a draw shot, and I just overdid it. So I just I need to hit it regular. OK. Oh, come back. Damn. Yeah, I should have shaped that a lot more than that. 
All right, so no leaves, but it'll, it'll touch branches and you'll be in trouble. All right, that wasn't a very good dry, drive. <sighs> yeah, you can see, uh, actually all my numbers were, were fine. It's just, the face was a little open. Okay, 143, I'm gonna hit a pitching wedge hard to try to get it over any potential trees. I can't really look up. Where's my pitching wedge? Here it is. I can't really look up to see what's going on there. There's the flag there. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to hit it over everything. These trees here are he really tall, so let's see. So I'm gonna kind of loft this and hit it hard. Get in the air. Oh, nice. Go, baby, go, baby, go, baby, go, baby. Get on. All right, so that's gonna be over par, being that far away. See, so I gained 0.14 of a stroke on that hole. So if you're gonna hit it on the green, you gotta get it close. But it's better than having a chip for it, because then if I had missed the green to get 0.14 over, I would have had to hit it to like, chip it to like five feet or something. Okay, so this is 458, another driver hole. That's the aiming thing stick here. So I want to be just to the right of the aiming stick with a fade. This, I think, is really one of the great courses because, man, it really tests all the shots in your game. You got to fade it off the tee, draw it off the tee, hit it low under the trees. I think trees with no branches are like the, the best feature of course. Anyway. Or if you want to hit it over stuff, you got to hit, like, hit a moon ball. All right, so a little bit of a fade here out of the center of the face. There we go. Let's go. I uh, killed that one. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. All right, so I carried it at 278. That was a good one. All right, club data on that one. 156 ball. And it was only 1.4 on the up, which is good because I was able to make that change. See, if I had actually hit that up where the sweet spot was, that would have been in the 160s. But that's okay. 157. So I'm going to hit an 8 iron here. 157. I'm going to choke up on this 8 iron. It's only, it's basically on the level. It's, it's 2.1 feet up. Really concentrate on where I hit the screen here. There, I'm trying to gain some strokes back here. Oh, come back, draw. Kick left, this is what I did last time in this hole. Kick left, get on the green somehow. Good, that way, actually that was extremely fortunate. Okay, got it inside the two putt range. So 1.93 putts there, so. See, 25.9 degrees aloft when I did that loft video, that actually was, that was perfect. It was just a little heavy. All right, 439, I'm gonna measure where I go here. Dead straight at that stick there and I'll be fine. But I don't wanna think about hitting a straight shot because that's when I'll start to hit it all over the map. I just wanna, I do wanna hit a little bit of a draw, a little bit of a comeback draw here right in the center of the face. I think that's the best thing to concentrate on when you're hitting driver. Just where on the face you want to hit it. Right, high center. Come back, yeah, just like that. Go, big huge bounce. Get down that hill, yeah. Man, yeah, a bomber could get to the bottom of that hill pretty, pretty easily if I had hit that. Yeah, that wasn't that great. That 56 ball, that was just not solid. See, just a little too high on the, t on the face, but that's a better miss than being too low on the face. All right, now I got 129 yards. It's a good opportunity to gain some strokes back here if I hit a close one. This pitching wedge, you gotta remind yourself, I hit it 140 yards before. So I need to, but that was a little uphill, so I need to effectively take six yards off this. So I'm gonna do that just by choking up on it and still hitting it normal. About to my neck on both sides. Really concentrate on where I'm gonna hit the screen. Yeah, like that, that should be great. Should be great, come back, come back. Now it's gotta come back, uh, it didn't come back. 
Oh, I hope that's inside. Yes, just barely inside two putts. 1.99 <laughs> putts would be the stroke scan to average that. So that's like I got a 3.99 on that hole. So at least I have that going for me. All right, 273. So I'm going to actually hit, get this tee in the ground kind of low. Am I? Yeah. I'm going to tee this up real low and take my driver, choke up on it, and hit kind of like a, a flattened out squeeze fade right there. <laughs> Cut. Yeah, just like that. Go, baby. Go. Jump, 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 jump. Get in the bunker. All right, that's fine. Not awesome, I probably could have done better with my three wood, but not bad. So look at that choked up 155.6 is, that's faster than, and man, that was in the heel. Okay, all right, so now I got 38 yards. I'm gonna have to use my lob wedge, which is this one. And I'm gonna be going uphill 12 feet. Let me know in the comments if this is interesting. Like, this would actually be super interesting to me, so I'm assuming it's interesting to anybody else. Uh, where's the flag? Okay, I'm right in line with the flag. I can't see it though. 12 feet uphill, 38 yards. So 38 yards is normally is about here, but it's uphill, so I'm gonna loft it. So I'm gonna be a little bigger and longer. I straighten the air, big blast, big jump. Okay, that's cool how the sand came out. All right, cool. So I, I gained a quarter of a stroke back on that one, which is great. So now I'm 0.2 over par. This is 180 yards. It is uphill 21 feet. So that's a six iron. And the last mid iron shot I hit, that five iron was absolutely awful on the par three, probably trying to stretch it too much. So I want to hit it right at this barber pole. This is the, the aiming point they give you. And if it draws back, perfect. If it doesn't, that's okay too. So I'm going to be here and I want to really concentrate on hitting that screen. Yeah, that looks, that's great. Yeah, that's great. There you go. Oh man, did I hit it too far? No, no, I hit the right distance. Kick left. Oh, get inside the auto putt. I don't think that's going to let me auto putt. I think I'm going to have to actually putt this. Damn. 14 yards. I would rather auto putted it. All right, so I'm actually going to break out the putter now, which I didn't think I was going to have to or I was going to do during this round. I've never done this before. This is the amazing thing about this. This unit right there. And it only, you know, it does everything based on your impact. So let's say 14 yards, what is that? 42 feet. Oh, pretty good, it's gotta sit down. Ah, that's not very good. Ah, see that's, that's something I've never done before. Yeah, I've never putted before on this machine. That wasn't very good. That was a waste because that, that tee shot was awesome. Now I'm a full one stroke over par. Damn. All right, ninth hole. All right, come on, get it together here. 428, looks like I can fade it or draw it depending on, uh, if I draw it, I gotta see, it has to be a tight one. I'm gonna try to hit a slight fade. And for me, that'll actually turn out to be a slight draw, but in my mind, I'm gonna think, a little bit of a Jimmy Walker fade right here, slight fade. Right at that barber pole, coming back, no hands. Oh man, too much. All right, so my camera died before this final shot out of the, I'm in a, a lip of a bunker kind of. Nah, not really. 33 yards, let's see.
of them. So that's like getting a 4.5 on this hole. All right, that's the end of my round. That's the end of my nine holes anyway. So just a little recap, you can see, I, I love the way the auto pad does. So that was like a par, a little bit better than par, a little bit over par, a little bit over par, a little bit better, just like that. So it all came up to be 1.5 strokes over par on this, uh, on the Olympic course from the Blues. So not the US Open tees, but fr from the blue tees. Now that's extremely fun. That's like a lot of fun. Basically, um, not as fun as real golf, but like real close, real close. Uh, thanks to Precision Golf Centers for letting me do this video here. That was a lot of fun. I'm gonna play the back nine. My camera's dead though, so I'm not gonna really film it. See ya, bye. All right, 18th hole, I just made like a birdie and a half on the last par five, so. Got a short par four here. 18 holes in the club. Put this right in the front bunker. I did better on the back. The, the back is a little easier than the front for sure. So I had a huge hole. It was going through to get 3.9 strokes because I had an eagle putt here on par five to 17. And then a great um, approach shot there after a, a, a wonky drive. So total score of 71 out of uh, 70. So one over par, obviously. Perfect lies everywhere you go and everything. So not real golf, but still a lot of fun.